hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial we are going to study the vibration characteristic of uh, spinning wheel flywheel and uh, also along with its uh, response to harmonic load so okay let's start so first we are going to create a standalone system of a static structural then model we are going to share this result solution to this setup then harmonic response solution to setup okay now we are going to import geometry import geometry so now we are going to double click on model so this uh, has been opened here and we are going to check uh, first unit unit in metric okay angle in degree and rotational velocity we are going to use in rpm temperature in cells okay now we have to apply some boundary con con now we have to apply some boundary condition so here this flywheel is fixed about this and it is rotating by 600 rpm about z axis so first we are going to apply boundary condition then insert fixed support this one apply okay insert rotational velocity about z axis 600 rpm okay and then solve so here it has been solved now we are going to get uh, tangential and radial deformation and stress so for that we are going to create a cylindrical coordinates system so what we are going to do we are going to insert coordinate system and change from your cylindrical geometry okay and principal axis that is z so we have created new cylindrical coordinate system okay so now we can insert here now we can insert here the defo directional deformation in x y direction so as we can see here in this uh, if we are getting deformation in uh, direction x that is radial deformation and in y direction that is tangential deformation so that we can insert here directional deformation and uh, change this global coordinate system to coordinate system here so here we have put x axis means that this is radial deformation insert directional here uh, 
we are going to change this in global coordinate system to coordinate system and x to y so that will be tangential deformation okay so now we can evaluate all results so these are deformation and uh, x this is radial deformation this is tangential deformation now we are also going to put uh, normal stress results in x and y direction again so here insert stress normal that is x change this to coordinate system okay now insert stress normal that is in y evaluate so you can see this uh, normal stress in x direction means radial stress normal stress and that is tangential normal stress